In the fast-paced world of entertainment, media professionals face a constant pressure against time, budget, and location limitations. With new technology, efficiencies are opened up with end-to-end -end cloud based workflows that help speed up the production process while allowing for near instantaneous global collaboration. Join us as we go all in on how early adopters are breaking barriers and reshaping the future of filmmaking with the studio in the cloud. To give us a better sense of how this end-to-end -end cloud based pipeline is achievable, I spoke with Katrina King, the director and producer of AWS's production Race to the Cloud about this exciting new filmmaking frontier. So Katrina, you have been with Race to the Cloud since its inception. Can you tell me a little bit about how this project came about? So what we wanted to do was actually create a piece of content to really demonstrate not only the full capabilities of the studio in the cloud, but that each different component of it would be in context in the making of an individual film. Everything was done in the cloud, from the pre-visualization all the way to the quality control, which is really the future of filmmaking. And it allowed us to really collaborate. The team was spread out all over the country. And so we were able to collaborate in real time. We were able to see over each other's shoulders as we were working. And really, even at times, take control of each other's machines when necessary to be able to make corrections and things like that. So it really afforded us the ability to be agile and to really collaborate over great distances. So Katrina, can you tell me a little bit about how the Race to the Cloud workflow was different than, say, a traditional workflow? Sure, there's a couple ways it was different. It was not only entirely cloud-based, but we were also using virtual production. And our pre-visualization was cloud-based as well, which really allowed us to collaborate with a group of people all over the country, right from the very, very beginning. Uh, and then with the virtual production side of things, VIEW is leveraging what they're calling cloud-enabled virtual production. So they have a network of stages all over the country, and they're able to use a really small workforce in order to, to really drive those stages. And it allowed us to work faster, to be more agile, and to really complete the film on a shoestring budget. We sat down with Mark Swanson and Daniel Malik from View Studios to give us a deeper look at how they use the cloud for virtual production. With this new workflow, they're hoping to be a flexible and cost-effective resource for filmmakers at every level. One of the biggest benefits about virtual production is it allows you to start your creative visualization process much earlier in production. So, you know, with virtual production, it actually starts way before you actually set foot on stage. You know, one of the, the biggest things that we work with with our customers is visualizing their story prior to ever stepping foot into one of our studios. We're building tools, pre-visualization tools, that are exact replicas of our stages, and you can pick the stage you want, uh, go to the uh, AWS cloud, pull our tool down or use it in the cloud and design uh, the lights that you want, design all the camera angles. We have a virtual representation of our stage within uh, our software that allows you to see exactly what's going to be on uh, the screen, the environments you need to have, and then push those down perfectly fit to any one of the stages that you use uh, in our network. Uh, and then once the content is generated there, it can be immediately taken back up to, into the cloud, even while we're shooting, and people can start editing it right then. We're leveraging an entire ecosystem that is both in the cloud and on premise that allows you to create workflows that um, enable you to create content, you know, in some cases, order of magnitude faster. Instead of shooting three pages a day, you can do 20 pages a day. We actually shot three commercials a day uh, in our studio, uh, you know, from end to end. And that allows uh, you to really uh, produce a lot more content faster, cheaper, and uh, better. It's clear this is just the beginning for virtual production, a tool that will be leveraged more and more as the industry evolves. But what about meeting filmmakers where they are now? That's where Red Digital Cinema comes into play with their new feature, Red Connect. Today, thanks for taking the time to meet with us today and talk a little bit more about how RED is using the cloud. Can maybe we let's start there. Can you tell me a little bit about that? 
Sure, so one of the new ways that we're using AWS is by having the camera directly offload footage from the camera media to S3. And this is a process that's running in the background whenever the camera is not recording. In between takes, it'll use whatever bandwidth's available to offload footage to S3. And it'll include media hash lists to make sure that the data that arrives in the cloud is the same data that was recorded in the camera to ensure data security and data integrity. That sounds like a great way to limit risk and increase resiliency. Less uh, chance of actually losing a shot. Is that part of that workflow as well? Yeah. The the traditional workflow that was based on moving mags and copying mags is a really critical, each of them is a critical operation that has to be executed perfectly or footage could get corrupted. And what we try to do is reduce these pressure points by having the camera interface directly to AWS and offload the footage, and then also keep the footage available on the media in case people wanted a local copy of what's been offloaded to the cloud. What are the design features that you have thought about if there's ever a network or bandwidth constraint? Sure, so one of the great things about the offload system is that it's only using available bandwidth. So in a bandwidth constrained environment, it may take longer to offload, but it'll be happening in the background. It doesn't depend on a, on a huge direct connection to the, to the data center. It could run on a public internet at low bit rate. Or if you're completely disconnected in a remote location, you can actually rely on an AWS outpost for recording to S3 locally. This is an exciting time for media creation. Whole new worlds can be built and mapped onto a virtual production stage. And high-res cameras can automatically transfer footage straight from the camera to the cloud. And how do you see that changing the workflow in the future? Workflow should become faster because we are not waiting for data to arrive. It is available as it's shot. Workflow should be more resilient because the data is archived in a secure location as it's being shot. And the number of critical failure points on set should decrease and make for a more reliable shooting process.